Then, at 8 p.m., a warning light flashed in the cockpit, notifying them that the rear air stairs had been lowered. About 15 minutes later, the crew members noticed a sudden upward motion from the back of the plane. They remained huddled together, freezing for nearly two hours. Upon landing in Reno around 10.15 p.m., the plane was immediately surrounded by local police and the FBI. They entered the plane and searched it from nose to tail. But there was no sign of D.B. Cooper or the stolen money. Authorities were convinced that the hijacker could not have exited the plane on the ground without anyone seeing him. D.B. Cooper had left behind two of the parachutes, his black clip-on tie and a head-scratching mystery. D.B. Cooper had vanished into thin air literally. The authorities were astonished especially since none of the fighter jets following the plane had seen him leave the aircraft. But the FBI felt confident that they could track Cooper down. After all, they had a name, a physical description and several specific details about the man. But in reality, they had much less information than they thought they had. 